Good morning and welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist for this Saturday, the ninth week of Ordinary Time. Let's take a moment to prepare our minds and our hearts to receive the graces God has prepared for us in this Mass. And as we prepare to celebrate the Mass, we sing together our opening hymn, Our God is Here. Here in this time, here in this place, here we are standing face to face. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. Here for the broken, here for the strong, here in this temple we belong. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. And we cry, holy, holy, holy are you. We cry, holy. Today we celebrate St. Norbert, Bishop, and we pray in a particular way, uh, both for our parish of St. Norbert in our diocese, as well as uh, for all the Norbertines within our diocese as well. We lift them up in a special way during this Mass. And so to prepare to celebrate uh, worthily these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy, his pardon, and his peace. You teach us how to live. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You care for widows and orphans. Christe eleison, Christe eleison. You invite us to share our May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Norbert a servant of your church, outstanding in his prayer and pastoral zeal, Grant, we ask, that by the help of his intercession, the flock of the faithful may always find shepherds after your own heart and be fed in the pastures of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, 
I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word, be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage, through all patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound teaching, but following their own desires and insatiable curiosity will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be diverted to myths. But you be self-possessed in all circumstances. Put up with hardship, perform the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. <clears throat> From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, with your glory day by day. Cast me not off in my old age. As my strength fails, forsake me not. I will sing of your salvation. But I will always hope and praise you ever more and more. My mouth shall declare your justice day by day your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord. O God, I will tell of your singular justice. O God, you have taught me from my youth until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. So will I give you thanks with music on the lyre for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing your praises with a harp, O Holy One of Israel. I will sing your salvation. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in the synagogue, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and as a pretext recite light, lengthy prayers they will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money in the treasury. Many rich per people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth just a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen. I say to you, this poor widow put, more, put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury. For they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had. 
her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Throughout Jesus' ministry, he kept a call, a call to repentance, a call to change your lives. In essence, a call to be perfect as the Heavenly Father is perfect. Now, different people responded to that call in different ways, and even to this day, we respond to that call in different ways. Sometimes we make genuine changes in our lives. Sometimes we cheat. And how do we cheat? Well, sometimes we, instead of really listening to the Holy Spirit, reflect in our hearts and decide what we're willing to do and then define that as perfection. Saying, well, this is what I'm willing to do, so therefore I am doing exactly what God called me to do, doing what I'm comfortable with. And we see that in today's, in today's gospel. We see in the gospel how the Pharisees, instead of truly being open to God's word, did what they wanted and then were trying to convince everyone else to do it the way they wanted to do it, instead of listening to God's word. We see the wealthy people, as they contribute to the treasury, contributing what they were comfortable with, no sacrifice, no change, no reform, just doing what's there and then defining it. Look how good I am. Look how many zeros there are in my contribution. Look how righteous I am with all the prayers I do that I'm comfortable doing. We hear that in the first reading that Paul warns St. Timothy that there's going to be a time where we are called that instead of doing what is right, following correct judgment, following correct teaching, we're going to make up our own teaching, but that we're called to beware, to constantly look for God's presence, to recognize what is the Holy Spirit calling us to do? What changes is the Holy Spirit asking to make in our lives? And each of us are called to examine ourselves and say, is the faith practices I'm doing, are the things I'm doing, am I doing just because I'm comfortable? Or am I stretching myself? In essence, are we defining perfection by setting such an easy goal that we're cheating? Or we have the contrast of the widow. Now by all worldly standards, her contribution, both probably to the ministry of the church and her contribution in terms of the number of zeros in what she donated was by no means perfection. And yet in God's eyes, it was. Because you see, each one of us is called to repent and to give and to sacrifice, not just our money, but in our attitude and in what we're called to do. We're called to have that heart of a widow. We see Paul as he's reflecting at the end of his ministry before he's about to give his life and goes home. He says, I have run the way race and I have competed. I have completed the I competed well and I have finished the race. And I think you and I recognize he didn't say, I've won the race. I am the most holy person. I am this, I'm that. He didn't compare himself to others. All he recognized is, I have competed well and I have finished the race. And that is what you and I are called to do. Compete well. To do what God calls us to do. To truly reform our lives. Today, we remember um, <clears throat> St. Norbert. He, lived, he was born in Germany in the late 1100s. And he had a defining conversion moment in his life. Um, he was studying to, um, to become a priest, but actually turned down ordination because he was very comfortable in just in being in the seminary. But not really. 
You see, he, he, there's actually stories of him where while he was in the seminary, he would be called to sing in the choir during the divine office, what we now call Liturgy of the Hours. And he would pay someone to sit in his place so that he could go and earn extra money working for the king. But one day, while he was riding a horse, very similar to St. Paul, there was a thunderbolt and he was thrown off the horse and was unconscious for over an hour. And it was from that near-death experience that St. Norbert re recognized and repented. And he spent, dedicated his life to seeking Christ continually to reform, continuing to sacrifice, calling others to join in that life and sharing a love of the Eucharist, recognizing the real presence, defending vehemently how Jesus is present in the Eucharist. And to this day, the Norbertines still very much follow that teaching. And as Father mentioned at the beginning of Mass, we're blessed by members of the Norbertine here in our parish and that, that, that order that St. Norbert founded. And each one of us is called to achieve perfection. Not a perfection that we've defined, but a perfection that God has defined uniquely for us. Yes, you and I are called to compete well and finish the race. And as St. Paul said, the ultimate goal is being able to say to God, I have kept the faith. St. Norbert, pray for us. We have one Father in heaven and one teacher, his only Son. Let us come to our Father, praying for all his children on earth. Our response this morning is, Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. That those ordained to the sacred ministry may be faithful and secure to their commitments to God and to the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. That those in public office may offer their best in serving the people rather than their selfish interest. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. That the humility of Christ may pierce the pride and pretense of people who think highly of themselves. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. That we may receive divine revelation in all its living power as God's message and not merely as human thinking. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. That the dead may find their peace in the risen Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, listen to our prayer. The intentions of this Mass are offered for Richard Gall, Naim Aguila, and Carmencita Mugo. We also offer up to, to the Lord the intentions that we have received for the birthdays of Carmen Mugo and for Alena's seventh birthday. We also pray for the repose of the souls of Rosa Aragon, Estelita de Guzman, Gary McFarland, and Jung Tran. And in a moment of silence, we offer to the Lord the intentions we carry within our own hearts and those we place in the Ark of Prayer chest. We pray to the Lord. 
Father of the poor, listen to our prayers. God and Father of all peoples, we bring before you the needs of those who know you and those who have never heard your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let us drink wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let us praise God together on our knees. Let us praise God together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Norbert, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Uncheli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, be blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Santiago de Compostela, Saint Norbert, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. communion and to follow. Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you will receive it, and it will be yours, says the Lord. Pray now our prayer for spiritual communion for those joining us at home. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I, I believe, believe that, that you are present, present in the most holy sacrament. sacrament. I love I you above, above all things, things and I desire, desire to receive you into peace. my soul. Since, Since I, I cannot at this moment, moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into, into my heart. heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and, and unite myself wholly to you. you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray now for Mary's intercession. Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, the Lord, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and errors of the devil. And may God in union we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and all your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our closing hymn is with one voice. Take the word and go out to every land. Shine the light of Christ for all to see. May the lives of those we touch sing praise to God above. Let us sing, we'll sing. With one voice we'll pass the word along. With one voice bring justice to the world. And with all the angels we'll spread the goodness of God with all power and glory. The word Shine the light of Christ for all to see. May we all set out to live in peace and harmony. They will see. of God with all power and glory the word of God shall reign we thank you everyone for joining us in the celebration of the Holy Mass I'd like to invite you to our events today we'll have confession from 9 to 10 30 this morning under the pavilion and we'll also have adoration tonight at our normal time 7 p.m. Tomorrow, Sunday, to celebrate the Feast of the Holy Trinity, we will be having adoration of the Blessed Sacrament during the day. Uh, we will be having a procession with the Blessed Sacrament uh, through the parking lot at uh, 10.30 a.m. and again at 3.30 p.m. with a holy hour with uh, uh, the clergy at 4.30 p.m. So you can look for more info on our Facebook page or on our website. We'd like to invite you to uh, these events this weekend. God bless you.